Hello Star Wars fans! And today I have the issue 2 of the Star Wars Build Your Own X-Wing. And we just have a on um, from the previous one. Here's the the, the uh, article about Colin Cantwell modeling the X-wing, and you have some of like the prototypes and story behind it. And here's the article about Big Dark Lighter. It'll be like old times, Luke. They'll never stop us. And then more about him and we have something about laser cannons right there which I'm guessing that's what we're gonna be starting <sighs> alright oh, and it actually shows the uh, all the parts and everything that you get in this so a lot of parts some more D2, R2-D2 parts so laser cannon parts uh, cockpit parts all right so here we go and there they are and we'll get this open all right and And these, uh, the first four issues actually came all together in one shipment, just like the R2-D2s did. So, so far I can tell you that all four of these first issues actually are all clamshelled. So, alright, my bad there, and here's the cockpit canopy fleet uh, platform here, definitely die cast. There's one of the laser pieces right there. Oh, okay. So some... Oh, looks like maybe there was supposed to be something in there. Huh. Well, I guess I'll just have to end up double-checking the uh, parts list. Just to be certain how many pieces were supposed to come in this which I luckily have them right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen pieces were supposed to come with this um, and judging by one of the pictures, I might not have the little piece that was supposed to be in there. So, uh, it does look like that my issue here might actually be missing a piece. Um, looks like it was the piece that was supposed to go in there. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Yeah, I only have thirteen pieces. Um, well, uh, I can probably say that um, maybe uh, I'm gonna have to end up looking for it. Uh, see if maybe it did fall on the ground somewhere. I don't see how because. 
it was still clamshell together and sealed up until the point where I took it apart on here. So I, I guess uh, we'll definitely have to end up double checking on that because yikes I uh, don't want to be without any required pieces but so far it looks like it is the R2D2 power pack front so okay Alright, so first we have the uh, assembling R2D2's left leg, which this is six steps. Assembling the laser gen generator is 13 steps. And apparently that's all we're doing in this issue. Okay. Okay, take all five parts of R2D2's leg provided with this issue. Well, seeing as apparently the other little part might not have actually come in this kit, um, yeah. Okay, so, four pieces. Um, step two. Align the inner and outer sides of the leg which have internal pins and sockets to join the parts. Okay, so... Pins and tabs, pins and tabs. Okay, so uh, step three, press the two parts together firmly. Okay. Which I have done there. Uh, step four, push the joint into the circular mounting on R2-D2 shoulder. The two lugs go at the top and the bottom. Okay, so it's going to be this piece right here that pushes into here. Okay, so top and bottom, and it doesn't look like it's directional. So... Push that on there. Straighten that out. Okay. And step five is press the small oval front panel into the matching recess in the power pack body. Uh, obviously, we can't do this step because that little piece that wasn't there was supposed to go in the spot right there. Okay, and step six is press the two pins on the power pack into the matching holes in R2-D2's foot. And okay, so... That's as far in as I can actually get it to go. Alright, well that's a little bit better. Okay. There we go. 
even without that back piece. I don't know, I guess I'll have to, if I can't find it on the floor or anything, I guess I'm just going to have to contact them and, and let them know that it was missing that little piece. Oh, oh well. Alright, uh, put this aside. And assembling the laser generator. Okay, so step one. Fit the LED into the small hole at the end of the forward generator and cap. Okay, so this piece right here and this LED right here. All right, so you just push this down in here. Oh, I might actually need some some assistance with this. I wish I had just like a little piece of plastic that would go deep down enough in there because it's, I can't get this to go down there with just, oh, never mind. Okay, maybe I can. Oh, okay, that's yeah, in. I couldn't get it to go down there in first. All right, well, that's all set. Okay, step two. Feed the wire past the pin inside this half of the forward generator body. Okay, so obviously it's this one. Um, okay, so... It's showing it go under the pin, just like that. Okay. And fit the socket on the other half of the generator body over the pin and press the two halves together, taking care not to trap the wire. Okay. And... Push the line through just to make sure that it isn't pushing down, that it's not getting caught. Okay, so didn't get caught. Okay, so we're good with that. Okay, step four, push the generator body into the end cap, noting the projecting lug, which allows only allows it to fit into the one position. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay. Just got a little stuck right there. Okay, so uh, this right here can obviously can only fit through that one side right here. Okay, we push that on. Uh, and uh, you know something, the um, if you happen to watch like the actual video from from model space this wire when they're recording it actually looks a bit longer kind of funny how you know sometimes you know video can be a little deceiving so I just happen to think that's funny alright so step five feed the wire through the central union and I'm guessing this is the central union right here Okay, so put it down through here. There we go. Okay. Okay, now push the union into the generator body, noting the projecting lug, which only allows it to fit in the one position. Okay, so just like on the other side, it can only go in 
one way. Okay, so... Oop. Dang it. Okay. Didn't mean to push that LED out. Oh, oh great. <laughs> Whoop. Yep. Okay, well, uh, hold on a second. I might have to actually pull this apart in order to get the LED back in there. Ugh. Okay. Good thing that's just a simple little fix. Okay. All right, well, I guess that's something to note right there when you're doing this. Is just uh, be careful <laughs> when you're trying to get the other side of this piece in place don't push from the front of this <laughs> oh. all right all right okay that's back together and where did that piece go oh, where are you yeah, luckily it fell into um, this drawer I have right here Instead of it falling directly down on the floor in a spot where I probably wouldn't have been able to find it. Okay. So and that's why I wanted to grab onto the front right there. And it doesn't seem to want to push down all the way. Why don't you want to push down all the way? Yeah, for some reason it just doesn't it just doesn't want to push down in the slot the whole way and I can't tell why. Oh, what the I think I got some silver paint coming off of me here. Huh. Yeah, that doesn't want to go over that. Huh. That's definitely the correct piece. But for some reason, I don't know. Well, maybe it'll show it in the next picture. No, it definitely shows it down all the way. I just can't tell why it's not going down all the way. Maybe it's got something to do with you know, paint. Like maybe some of the paint is in the way. Oh, okay, there we go. And LED is still intact. Okay, here we go. Okay, so yep, that was step six. Step seven, take the rear end cap, which has a slot to match an internal log in the central union. Okay. And there we go. And notice that right there, which it's locking in here, so this is where the LED wire is going to be sitting right here, so that way it doesn't get crunched. So, definitely just got to make sure about that. Okay, step eight is push the cap into the central union, leading the wire out through the groove in the union. Okay, so this right here. Just making sure that this is still free. And push that in. Okay. And see right there. Okay. And that's all set. Okay. Step nine is take the two halves of the rear generator body. So these two pieces. And fit the internal pins into the matching sockets. Okay. 
Okay, so that was step 10. Step 11 is literally just pushing them together. All right, there we go. And step 12 is align the slot in the thick end with the lug in the end cap. So this right here, right here. Okay, so push it right in here. And then step 13, which I'm just gonna leave there right here, because step 13 is push the two sections of the generator together. So that right there, okay. Well, it's looking pretty cool so far. Okay, and that's the end of this issue. All right, so, yep, uh, I will definitely try and see if I can actually find that missing piece. And uh, if not, so, I mean, it could potentially end up being like a whole other month because I am going to be recording these videos practically right in a row, but they're, these are going to be coming out once a week, just like the R2-D2 videos. So if uh, they do end up sending that one missing piece, uh, you're not going to see it until probably issue 5 comes around. So just to note that. Alrighty. So, uh, until the next Build Your Own R2-D2 video, or the next Build Your Own uh, Star Wars X-Wing video, uh, or until my next upgrade kit comes out, Till next time, thanks for watching.